Joining us now to talk all things UK politics and economy is the vice president of Crestview Strategy, based in London, England, Nick Varley. Nick, there's a lot of talk about what is contributing to this gloomy outlook for Britain's economy. What do you think are the main factors, and do you think Brexit played a role in this? So I think if you look at the IMF report, it's clear that uh, high interest rates, um, are a problem, and that is absolutely true. Interest rates, uh, not just here in the UK, but around the world, uh, are at their highest rate. High energy prices, again, something that is impacting global markets. I think perhaps we're getting uh, a slightly tougher time of it on some of those fronts. Um, but certainly, you know, there are quite a few global factors that I think uh, are impacting the UK. Um, I think in terms of Brexit, the IMF doesn't mention Brexit in the report. The UK government is pretty clear that there are a number of opportunities to be taken um, off the back of the UK's departure from the European Union. Um, but certainly, the, the UK has made some pretty big changes. Some of those changes over the last few years have been quite complicated. They've had consequences, certainly. Um, and so, um, while I think that the, the IMF report is obviously kind of disappointing to see forecasts like that, um, the issues are certainly real. Um, you know, IMF forecasts are not always correct, um, and I think what matters from my perspective much more is going to be what actually happens as opposed to what a forecast document says. What do you think Finance Minister Jeremy Hunt's growth plan should include? So I think that the complexity around driving growth, which is, you know, certainly has been a problem, uh, in the UK over the last few years. Um, there is no simple solution on these things. You know, we have a, a, a mountain of uh, debt, of government debt. Uh, we have already high taxes. We have very major liabilities. So I think that obviously getting the tax burden down to a proportionate and sensible level, something that incentivizes business and growth is going to be really important, but also solving the productivity conundrum. We've been uh, uh, trapped, I think, over the last few years um, or the last few decades, perhaps, even, in a, in a low productivity environment. Um, and uh, we need to drive productivity, not just in London, where I am, but also out across the whole rest of the country as well. I think that's the big opportunity. And I know that that's something that uh, the previous uh, Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, has talked a lot about. This government is really focused on driving up productivity, economic opportunity outside of London. And I think, for me, that's a big part of the solution. These last few years, and especially 2022, have been really hard for many people around the world in terms of rising inflation, and now more gloomy news for the UK. Do you think British people are losing faith in their government? Uh, so I think that there's uh, definitely uh, a few problems in terms of uh, how uh, Brits are thinking of their government at the moment. I'm not sure that an IMF forecast was the killer blow, to be absolutely blunt. I think that there's been... Uh, uh, in the UK and I think in, in, in other parts of the world, in certainly mainland Europe as well, um, there's a lot of um, uh, public frustration, the consequences of the pandemic, trying to emerge from that is really difficult. Um, and uh, I certainly think that the UK government has some problems with its uh, electors, uh, but that, that, that today's news does not amount to one of them. Thanks so much for joining us, Nick Varley. Thank you.